Hollywood and wine. Or <laughs> I think I'm gonna rename it to Hollywood and swine because I feel literally like a pig. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose of Disney. I'm headed into Hollywood Studios at about 9.40, but as I was making my journey here, the line for Magic Kingdom's parking lot was out of this world. It was the longest I've seen it. Like, usually it's that long when it's a holiday. Tons of people come in here to uh, Disney World this summer, which is great to see. Everything's kind of getting back to normal crowd-wise. Now we just need to get it back to normal for staffing-wise. This morning, we're actually gonna have breakfast at Hollywood and Vine. It's character dining, so I'm kind of curious to see how they're gonna be implementing characters in the morning, because I know you can't really meet them and whatnot, so we'll have to see what that is. And obviously the food. I'm really excited. I haven't actually eaten here for breakfast ever before, so it's gonna be a first for me. I am gonna be a tad bit late. Um, it's been pretty busy here in the morning just trying to park. Pretty busy, very busy. Now when I think of Hollywood and Vine, I think of those seats that you usually get for Fantasmic. When you usually dine here, they will reserve some seats for the best show here at night, Fantasmic. However, Fantasmic is not running and it hasn't actually been announced just quite yet. There has been some announcements of two um, shows coming back here at Hollywood Studios, I'll get into that a little bit later, but we're here in the morning. All I had to do was check on the app. It's super duper simple. You don't have to go to the podium anymore to check on in. It's all on the My Experience app, which is so nice. I just checked in not even a minute ago and I got my text message that my table is ready. This is gonna be buffet style, I believe, here for breakfast and we'll get those characters that they come on by. But honestly, I'm just really hungry, so this is why I booked it in this morning. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, there was a line I couldn't get through. Yeah, I know, they didn't want to let you in. I know, I was like, what the heck, I'm starving. Yeah. Do you want Sweet. a picture before you sit down? Welcome to Hollywood and Vine, everybody. I can already see some uh, characters out and about. Vampirina is over there. Uh, we got the Disney jam dance party going on over here. I'm really excited to be eating, I'm so hungry. I did get this reservation last night, not this morning. However, I did still see that there were some reservations in the morning. So if you guys wanted to have some breakfast inside the park, this might be an option for you. It is buffet style. Oh, peekaboo. Beverly is playing peekaboo with us. Hello. I'm so hungry. So hungry. I know, I'm at the right spot. The right spot. You've got so much room to play around too. You can do whatever you want. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to see you. There is a limited seating in here, so they're not at full capacity. Usually there's some more tables out and about right here. But since the characters, all they do now is kind of just go dance around and kind of poke fun with you. Um, that's why there's not so much room anymore. So they can't go to each and any, every individual table anymore. But I mean, it's still pretty cool. There's a dance party. Hey, Disney Junior party, all right. I was actually wrong on how the menu operates now. So before COVID, it was a buffet, but now it's gonna be a prefix menu. So we're gonna scan this and then we're gonna make a selection of what we want. No longer a buffet. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> kind of uh, sad. <laughs> Let's see how much it is. I don't even know how much it is. It looks like it's gonna be $42 per adult and 27 per child. So obviously pretty expensive. It is because of the character dining. I just didn't know they got rid of the buffet, but it makes sense. Um, hopefully they bring that back because obviously the portion size is going to be way down with this prefix menu. There is a lot of selections, but I, I kind of was coming here to, under the impression that I would be able to get as much as I would like. Looks like we don't have that anymore, so that kind of stinks. They could have just, you know, done the, done the prefix, but brought you as much as, you know, you wanted, but darn it. We do get a pastry basket, and this comes with caramel monkey bread, croissants, mini muffins, jams, and uh, honey butter. I also elected to get some coffee with cream and sugar. I'm tired, and water. But I did also ask how this works because I still thought it was a buffet style. What they can do for you is they can bring one entree out, and you still want more, or if you want a side, you can always ask, but if you did want to get another prefix entree, you'd have to like kind of, you know, finish your other one and be like, yes, I'd like to try this. However, they did let me order a side of French toast. I decided to get the omelet 
I love omelets, and we'll see on how I feel after that. They did say the portion sizes are pretty large, and hopefully someday the buffet will be coming back. We'll have to wait and see. The last time I ate here was so long ago that in the beginning here, like in the front, they had like a chocolate Maleficent. Comment down below if you guys remember that. It was right here. I think that was before they turned it into the Disney Junior Dance Party, but comment down below. Do you guys remember a chocolate Maleficent right here in the front? I thought it was the coolest thing as a kid. There's no way I'm gonna eat all this, but I do wanna try this monkey bread. No idea, whoa, it's really like sticky and caramely. Oh my gosh, that's so sticky. It's like a Cinnabon, but like actually way better. There's like caramel in this that's like sticking to my teeth right now. Oh my God, monkey bread. Monkey bread's good. It's way better than a Cinnabon, holy cow. I wanna know how they make this. It's so sticky and like gooey, it's amazing. Danish time. Oh, that tastes good. Raspberry. Tastes just like raspberries. This monkey bread though, I'm telling you, this monkey bread. Woo! She good. She's good. I wouldn't steer you wrong, trust me. I just asked, there's caramel in the monkey bread. It's delicious. The monkey bread is a must try. I don't even want to try anything else because I feel like I might be disappointed. I shouldn't have tried it. I shouldn't have tried it. This whipped butter is amazing. It mixed with the croissant. Um, oh my god, it is delicious. Probably one of the best butters I've ever had in a while. It's pretty salty though, um, but holy cow, it like melts in your mouth. Honestly, this might be some of the best butter I've ever had on Disney property. This butter is great. <laughs> Bad for me. Okay, this food looks absolutely delicious. It smells amazing. So here's my omelet with the potatoes and sausage. I could have gotten with bacon, but I was feeling more sausage. And this isn't cheap sausage. This is actually good sausage. I was expecting, like, you know, that regular Disney sausage. And then I got a side of French toast with strawberries, bananas, a glaze, caramel sauce, cinnamon on top. This looks delicious. I have to feast. I think I'm going to start out with this omelet. This omelet <laughs> smells amazing. All right, here we go. Where's my fork? Now, I can't judge it on it being cold or warm. Let's see if it's still warm still warm. Now there's actually nothing in my omelet. It's just cheese and eggs. You actually have to add everything it looks like while you yeah, take your bites. Mmm, mmm, yum. I wish these peppers were actually inside. Oh my god. These peppers have a lot of taste. Potato time. These aren't normal Disney potatoes either. Not bad, not bad. I'm just not like a huge potato skin lover. Fancy Nancy is out running about over here. Playing with the kiddos. Oh, posing for us, that was great. There you go. Can you, do you spin? Do you do a twirl? Oh, there we go, okay. Hey, perfect. That was great. I think my favorite part about the, the dish here, the omelet dish, was the peppers, the onions, and the sausage. The, the omelet was okay. I just wish everything came inside like I probably said a million times in this video. Oh, probably the thing I'm most excited about here. Moving on to the most exciting part about this breakfast, the French toast. This is, uh, this just looks great. I hope just looking at it makes you hungry because it's making me hungry. I'm gonna start with a banana. I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some of this butter on it. I wanna get one of everything in here. I got the middle cut. The middle cut is always the best cut. Didn't expect there to be chocolate in there. I think that's Nutella. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Well, I'm stuffed to the brim. I am absolutely stuffed. I do want another sausage though. I love this sausage. Some good sausage. The sausage is kibasa, by the way, and I think you need to order it. It's so good. Good to know, I can uh, still stand up here. That's always good. Um, they do give you a parting gift here. It's a signature from Vampirina, Nancy, Doc McStuffins, and Goofy. Um, because characters can't sign autographs anymore right now. But I thought Mickey and Minnie would make a visit, but it looks like they don't. Mickey and Minnie, they just do not come for breakfast. They will be here for lunch and dinner. So that's good to know. Hollywood and wine. <laughs> I think I'm gonna rename it to Hollywood and swine because I feel literally like a pig. I ate so much, I'm so full. It actually does look like Goofy has made it out here already. I've never seen him over here. He's, he's fishing. He's the new spot for uh, Goofy. He's usually up top of the, the Hyperion Theater. Okay, now it's time for some updates down Sunset Boulevard, one of the most exciting updates and something 
that I've been waiting for for the longest time for Disney to bring back here at uh, Hollywood Studios. Oh my gosh, I think this is Tower of Terror's line right by uh, Beauty and the Beast, but I'm really happy to report that August 15th, Beauty and the Beast is finally gonna be back here at Hollywood Studios for shows to return each and every single day, which is really exciting now. We're getting Beauty and the Beast back, now we just need Fantasmic back, but we do, however, have another show coming back as well. Still kind of baffled though that Tower of Terror's line is all the way over here. I don't think I've ever seen it like this. It's a lot of people. I guess this is what happens when you don't have Fast Pass, I guess. I've never seen it like extended over here. Even during like the holidays, it's never like this. A lot of people. This whole street has turned into a giant queue for a uh, rock and roller coaster and Tower of Terror. Everybody that you're looking at, it's a queue. They're standing in a line. It's kind of nuts. There's uh, definitely no shortage of crowds here today already at 1040 in the morning. See, when it looks like this, this is where I want your guys' comments down below right now. What do you guys think? If it looks like this, would you guys mind Fast Passes returning? I mean, you do get three rides, you know, pretty much, you know, 20 minute waits, or you get every ride about a 45 to 60 minute wait. So, um, comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you want Fast Passes to return at least right now? Because um, it might really need it. I don't know. There's a lot of people here in lines. These are definitely not short waits. These are long waits. Let me know down below right now. What do you guys want? Would you guys like to see Fast Passes returning? Yeah. Kind of don't even know why they're not back at the moment. This is ridiculous. Holy cow. This is definitely without doubt the worst I've ever seen these lines with a non-extended queue, with non-social distancing. Like these lines are, are no joke. But I do have another show announcement that Disney is uh, bringing back starting October 1st. Um, the wonderful world of animation will begin here again at Disney's Hollywood Studio and that's kind of their projection nighttime show here at Hollywood Studios with a little fireworks at the end, which is good to see. Another nighttime spectacular is uh, going to be back here at Walt Disney World and that's going to be right here in front of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. That's where you guys can get the best spot for that. It's pretty cute. Um, yeah, August 1st. You know what, I think I wanna go to, um, actually, follow me. <laughs> I've never ever been to the Disney Junior Dance Party. I guess we can go here just cause you know, kinda, it's perfect. We were just at Hollywood and Vine. We had a miniature Disney Junior Dance Party. Let's have a big Junior Dance Party. I've never been in here, so let's see what it's about. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Dance. Love it! Do we have anybody celebrating their first visit? I think you All right. Together. 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 Okay, together. Everyone. <laughs> it's pretty great so far. Oh, yeah, that was much better. Well, since we have some Disney Junior fans, we are going to play a little game before the show gets started. I'm kind of disappointed in myself it's taken me this long to come in here because this place is kind of fun. I'm enjoying it. I want to dance. You can feel the energy in here. Hands up, hands up, hands up. And we are about to raise the roof. Here we go. Yeah! so unexpected it's pretty much like a kid's rave I had a lot of fun that, that pre-party before it starts is pretty lit it's pretty good for adults I mean you're gonna have fun I mean that is definitely obviously meant for kids but I was dancing that was fun that was a lot of fun it's a Disney Junior party all right clap those hands it's gonna be stuck in my head all day long all day long I don't think that's a bad thing though holy cowabunga <laughs> I was enjoying that dance party because there wasn't too many people in there. However, as soon as we get out, 
we're reminded how many people are here at Disney World right now. Oh my bananas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Crowds are back. <laughs> I've been saying that through this whole video. I want to see how long the single ride is here for Millennium Falcon because right now the posted wait time is 105 minutes. I haven't seen that in decades. It's been a while. Um, but I do want to get on a ride. However, I do have to double vlog. I'm double vlogging each day and double editing for the next four days because I want you guys to have videos while I'm on my seven day cruise. If for some reason I cannot upload my cruise videos, I'll have a backup video here from Disney World. So that's why I'm like double vlogging and whatnot. So if you guys could, please go ahead and thumbs this video up. But I just want you guys to know what's going on. I'm gonna be uploading um, pretty uh, far in advance here. Um, but I'll, let's see what the single rider line's at. My rule of thumb is if you see the line and it's just going up the stairs, that's gonna be a pretty quick wait. So I think we're gonna wait for the single rider here. It's not gonna be too bad. Currently sitting under an air vent. Feels really great. This is the biggest hack that I have for you. <laughs> Sit underneath the air vents. An engineer who are pulled that precious cargo have been the move on and know that I have complete faith in you. But I am coming along with you just in case. Now let's go get that coaxia. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. Light speed! Pull it, pull it! The green thing! Be a bumpy ride. There's the train. Those heavy guys are protecting the train. Take them out. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Come to us. Take amazing action. Find them behind the train so we can all move the Shoot, shoot, shoot. Find our boots and feel us in. Get behind the train. To the left, to the left. There we go. Yes. Get some flesh. Oh, no. What done? Gunners. Gunship. Oh, that's ridiculous. The legs are getting too hot. We've got to get out of here. Oh, yes. I'm surprised you did that. Oh, that was rough. Oh, my God, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. That was the worst. The worst flight I've ever been on. I think we had 12% out of 100. Um, we hit everything pretty much manageable. That was really bumpy. That's what happens when kids are pilots. It's a Disney Junior party. All right, everybody, that is going to be it for your daily dose of Disney today. I'm going to go back and edit this, and then I'm going to head straight to uh, Universal Studios, where I haven't been in the longest time, and that's going to be a separate vlog. But um, holy cow, crowds are back. Had a huge breakfast here this morning. It's been a Holly Studios morning for sure. Crowds, 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 crowds. Uh, real quick, shout out to Ar Arno. Renters over on my patreon. Thank you so much for supporting me in that way um, It's a hot day out. I gotta head home. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys for tomorrow in tomorrow's episode of Daily dose of Disney. Peace out everybody Bonus clip <laughs> got a little tip here for you over here at epic epic eats right by Indiana Jones They do water cups. I just learned this today Very much needed Jump Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Try to right there. I don't want you to get hurt. There we go. <laughs>